all right so let's go to the next set of collectives so we'll consider scatter and the dual of scatter is gather okay so what does scatter do do you remember so you have an array of size let's say m times p on some node and at the end of the operation you will have an array of size m exactly on each node right so it will be scattered the the data the entire array of size m times p will be scattered to all the nodes right so typically how is the scattering done the first m elements go to node 0 the next m elements to node 1 the next m to node 2 and so on right that's that's how it happens okay so how will you implement scatter any ideas Can we use recursive, doubling recursive, halving? Yeah. So let's try to understand how you do that, right? Okay. Let's assume eight nodes again. In the first iteration, you're going to send data to, node zero is going to send data to node four. What data is it going to send? Lower half. Lower half. Right, so it's going to send exactly m p by two elements. It has m p elements in the beginning, right? M p data. It's going to send half that data to node four, right? What's going to happen in the next iteration? In the next iteration, zero is going to send to two, and four is going to send to six. How much data are they going to send? How much data is zero going to send to two? Every time half of data. Yeah, right. So it's going to send data of size m p by four. And this is also going to send data of size mp by 4. Yeah, clear? So what is the cost of performing this operation? Let's go iteration by iteration, right? So what is the cost of the first iteration? Ts plus mp times tw. Yeah, second iteration, Ts plus, oh sorry, mp by 2. Yeah, second iteration, Ts plus mp by 4, tw, and so on. So what is the sum? So how many iterations? Log p iterations. So ts log p plus p by 2 plus p by 4 and so on up to in the end only m data will be sent, right? So what is the sum? So this is ts log p plus p minus 1 times mtw. The sum is p minus 1, right? Okay. So now again, if you look at it, right, the links that are used in every iteration are disjoint, right? No matter which architecture we took, whether we took the linear array or we took the mesh or we took the hypercube, the links being used are the same, exactly the same as the links that were used for broadcast, right? And we analyzed that those links were disjoint in every iteration, right? So again, for all the architectures, the cost is going to be the same, okay? How do you implement gather? Initially, all nodes have m amount of data, right? Data of size m. And at the end, you want to gather all that data onto one node of size mp, okay? So how will you implement this? Well, in the first iteration, what will happen is that it will proceed in the reverse order, right? So this will send m amount of data here. 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 In the next iteration, this will send 2m data over here. This will send 2m data over here and so on, right? You, you can see the rest, right? So it's exactly the opposite of scatter. Right? Okay. Let's talk about another important thing, right? So far, we are looking at only broadcast from zero, right? What, what if you're broadcasting from some other node? I mean, when we do broadcast, we don't always broadcast from node zero, right? How are we sure that this model is going to work, right? And the cost is going to be the same even if I'm doing a broadcast from some other node. Let's say that node two is doing the broadcast. Who is node two going to send to? Six, right? So you can do everything modulo whatever number we are dealing with, right? Okay. So you do whatever the current node is plus four modulo eight, right? In the first iteration, two is going to send to six. 
in the second iteration 2 is going to send to 4 and 6 is going to send to 0. Is there a problem here? There is no problem. Why? Because the links are bidirectional. Right? There will only be one communication that will be happening in the opposite direction. Right? Convince yourself of that. So that will always use the links in the opposite direction, not an issue. Okay? What will happen in the third iteration? 6 will send to 7. Yeah, actually there is no backward communication in this one. Right? 